What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, coming back for another My College video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing the Uncle Ben uh, Minute Rights Tech here, guys. And before we start this video, if you want to go ahead and give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a like on this video. And uh, if you want to know where I get my spores and all that, go ahead and send me an email. Um, EasyBreezyGrows at gmail.com, all lowercase, all one word. Uh, or if you prefer the easier methods to get a hold of resources, you can join my Discord or my Patreon where the resources are posted there. Uh, Patreon's only a dollar. You don't even have to stay joined if you want. You can uh, delete your pledge after that. That's what I would probably do because you get a 10% discount code if you do it that way. So that's definitely what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and crack this vape one time uh, for the homie DJ Screw. Oh, alright. <laughs> alright, guys, we got some nice old spores here today. Pre shaking up. <laughs> I give him a little jerk. Anyways, oh my god, I'm still coughing from that. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess we could sanitize our hands first to start off with. Get a little of that 91% ice broke alcohol which is now available in most stores. Now this is pretty well stocked up, so I don't think anyone should have a problem. We had a pretty big issue with this going through the pandemic, and I used grain rice um, as a substitute, and I don't think I ever told anybody about that, which probably would have been very good info. Next, let's go ahead and sterilize our uh, pouches of Uncle Grain, Uncle, Uncle Grain, Uncle Ben Grain, and we'll just use our isopropyl alcohol with a cotton ball. And we'll give it a gobble shake like so. Just to kind of get that all moist and damp. And usually when I can start feeling my finger on the other side getting cold. Usually that's when I can tell I have enough uh, alcohol on the wipe. And I'm just going to wipe the whole front of it. And I'm going to try to get more towards the bottom. Because that's where I'm going to be sticking my needle in. It's towards the bottom. If you can believe that. Ready in 60 minutes. Or 90 minutes? Oh, it's 90 minute rice. Why do I keep saying 60 minutes? What am I thinking of that 60 minutes? Or 60 seconds? I don't know. Anyways, we got that done. Let's go ahead and give our syringe one more flame sterilization. Of course, I did a uh, forbidden technique to um, get my spores uh, to break up very, very nicely. I've been watching a lot of Naruto lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day today. It's a nice day. I can hear the birds outside. I'm reworking my flower beds right now in front of the house, if you could believe that. Uh, I'm digging up all of my annuals. And, uh, I, well, actually, I'm replacing the whole foundation of the bed. I uh, just put down some uh, new mulch uh, the other day. And now I'm just waiting on to get some flowers. So that's exciting. Enough about me, this is, uh, this is almost done. Get it a little bit hotter there at the tip. I like to see the red color before I, uh, know that it's perfect. Let's see it turn red. But that's just me. Anyways, that looks good enough. I'll go ahead and I always like to clean off the tip because every now and then you can get soot that uh, builds up on the tip. Not on this one because I've already pre-wiped it from before. This is the second pre-sterilization I've done of that. This needle here. But usually on the first one uh, you'll get a lot of soot on it. And that's all. That's just nasty. So we don't do it. Or so we clean it. I guess. I don't know. And it took the whole... <laughs> Alright. There we go. Nice and clean. Add a little bit of gooky gook on it. So, now we got four of them here. So, I'm going to do approximately two and a half cc's per uh, vial, I guess. And I always like to squirt just a little bit out. Just keep it on the side just in case there was any built up in this part. Any uh, bad bacteria. But I guess if it's in that part, it's probably in the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me being superstitious. 
uh, we've already pre-broken up this Uncle Ben rice here. Uh, I don't know if I explained that off camera or not, but off camera, we uh, broke up all of this rice here. Perfect. We broke up all this rice off camera and uh, we will let it sit on its top here. Let me just uh, fill up these holes with my cloth tape. Cloth tape here that you could buy at uh, any, pretty much any dollar store, really. Uh, they have this usually in the medical aisle. Or if you buy one of those uh, cheapo first aid kits, you probably have one in there. You probably have a small roll of this sitting in there. And now, the Uncle Ben tech is so fun. You gotta find the hole. It's so fun and easy. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to sterilize anything. It's literally just syringes and Uncle Ben. It's just you and Uncle Ben. That's why I love this tech so much. And just like that, we're done. Uh, we can go ahead and um, see what today's <coughs> see what today's date is. I think today is the seventh. Uh, six seven six seven six seven six seven. And then I like to put what kind it is. And uh, we call it a day after that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, usually I like to store these up like this. That way this board, so they all work their way down. And then you can see it through the clear bottom down there. That's when you know they're growing. Uh, so probably in a week or so, we'll come back to these here. And we'll check out how they're doing. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. And until next time, keep on growing. Keep on smoking. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.